Okay, let us see my examples. This is another one. Now this one we are going to consider a rectangle. ABC is a rectangle in which AB, this AB is going to be 5 meters. So, means that from here up here we have 5 meters up there. And then this one they are telling us this is 3 meters. Okay, forces 2 newtons, 4, 3, 11 act along AB. So you see AB, BC, CD, and BA respectively with direction of the letters indicated by the order of letters. So AB goes with 2. So AB, AB goes with 2 newtons. Then BC goes with 4. This is 4 newtons. Then CD goes with uh, 3 newtons. 3 newtons. Then BA, BA, BA. So this is the direction of BA. 11 newtons. After finishing that, taking AB as the x axis and AB as the y axis, find the resultant force. Okay. So to get our resultant, this is part A. We need the x component. So our x is going to be in that direction. We have 2 plus, you see this one is negative. Which will give us negative 1. Resolving vertically, our y is going to be, we have 4, then minus, okay, plus, and negative 11, which will be negative 7. So meaning my resultant, which is equal to xy, is going to be negative 1, and negative 7 newtons. So you see, we can every sketch that. We can every sketch that. I think you see all of this is negative and this one is also negative, sorry. This one is negative, the x is negative and also the y is negative. So, if we have three dots, that's what we have. This is R1, this is going to be R17 newtons. One newton. So this is our resultant. FR. So it already is one to this angle. Makes it the horizontal. So it's going to start from there. Our FR is going to be the square root of negative 1 squared plus negative 7 squared. And this will be 50, which will be 5 root 2, 50, 25 times 2. These are going to be newtons. The direction, our theta is going to be tan inverse. Remember, the resultant should be in a direction because all this we are having directions which were indicated by letters. So there, you see that our opposite is 7 over 1. Our theta is going to be 81.87 degrees. So the result is that the direction of this as simple as that. To the one that is force. We have seen how to describe this. Okay, part B, they want us to get the equation. Remember our equation? So this V plus then minus capital Y small x equal to so this is the line. Oh, you can definitely get it without setting it even using the approach from the matrix. Okay, so what are we going to do? So we take um, I don't need the other method, if you take this and then you get these ones. Or you can take moments at A. And clockwise is 50 because this one we generated is using by getting and clockwise moment. So even at A, let us generate moments at A and clockwise. So our B, there we need to be, we have these two. We have capital X and capital Y. So we need the B. So that's why we get moments at A. At A, all forces coming and going left from A are going to be zero. 
So from here, you can see I'm going behind him. First of all, this one, two, time was zero. Why are we saying it should be zero? You see these two, from here, this is the force. It has no perpendicular distance. So the distance from here, of this force from right over to is zero. Even this one, you see that it does not have anything like a perpendicular distance from here. That's why this and this, all of their moments are going to be zero. So plus 11 times zero. Then plus, we are taking that clockwise. I think you see this force now from A. This one, I think you see it has the perpendicular distance from there and clockwise. That's why I'm having plus. Now for times, the perpendicular distance from here to here is five. Some people confuse me. This is a force. This is the distance. Then when I come to a three, I think you can see my three is going in that direction, meaning so so and clockwise. So plus three times three. How do I get a three? You see from this point, from here, you see from this A. The distance from here to here is the three units. I think you can see there. So you can start from there. My D is going to be this is 20, 29. Newton meter as simple as that. Now putting into this equation, you can aggregate. So my D from here, D plus x y minus y capital x equal to zero. Put it here, we have 29 plus our capital X, which is from here. You see our capital X was negative one. Y minus our capital Y was negative seven x equal to zero. From there, you can able to see this is straight line minus y plus seven x equal to zero, which you can able realize as y equal to seven x plus twenty nine. That's the line of action. Or this is how you can get it. Our g is always equal to small x, small y, then capital X, capital Y. And so from there, you can see that our g is 29 equal to 2. These are always there because the line always has the length of point. Then capital X from there is negative 1, this is negative 7. Then when you get that determinant, this is going to be negative seven x, then minus this time this negative y. It will be twenty nine plus seven x equal to y, which is the same as that. Anyway, that was the other way. Then the other way to get moments. I told you the other way to get moments from here. You can able to get these moments using the determinant method also. Anyway, I'll do that at the last part. So then in part C, the distance from A where the line of action cuts AB. Remember they tell us that our AB is x-axis. Our AB x-axis and at x-axis y is always equal to zero. So from my thing nine, uh anyway. Let me start with uh, my y. My y equal to 7x plus 29. When y is 0, you see we have 0 equal to 7x plus 29. And so my x is going to be negative 29 over 7. So the distance from a now. My distance from A. Of course, this is A. So now the point, first of all, there. The point where it's going to cut uh, find the distance from A where the line F cuts the cuts A B. It cuts A B at this distance. So we get the magnitude magnitude of this. So magnitude of X is going to be 29 over 7. And so our distance is going to be 29 over 7 meters. 
which you can test on your calculator. It should be below five. It's going to be in four point nine divided by seven. Yeah, which is four point one four two nine meters from A. Can say from. The other way to get moments, you can call this because the method of determinant works if you are getting uh, you are getting moments about the origin. So if you make this zero zero, then this one is going to be the x i is five zero. Then this one is going to be five three. This one is going to be zero three. Then you use that method. You have the force. I mean, you have the forces where it's coming from that point, then the force, and you also can get the same answer as someone who's doing this. Let me do it, and then you are going to see it here. I'm going to do it here so that you can see we get the same thing. Okay. Okay, I think you can see this is going to be zero zero when you add five meters, this one now becomes five zero. From here I see that in the y we have three, so this is five three. Then here I see that the x is zero, then the y we have known is three meters up. So this are from here, this force is coming from zero zero. The force is two in the horizontal, zero in the vertical. This force is coming from here, it has four as the vertical, zero in the Then this force, three, is coming from here, five, three, five, three. You see it's going in the negative. Negative three has no vertical component plus this one is coming from zero, three. You see it's going to the, neg in the negative, negative level to simplify. That's how you need, which is the same as that. So, it's up to you. I wish you. Well...